Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about for loops in Ruby. Now, a for loop is basically a structure in Ruby that allows us to loop through a specific collection. So that could be a collection like an array. It could also be a collection of numbers. Basically, allows us to loop through a connection, a collection, and for each item inside the collection, we can do something. And actually, in this tutorial, we're not just going to be talking about for loops. We're going to be talking about a broad range of different loops and looping structures, which we can use to loop through different things. Essentially, in Ruby, there's a lot of different ways we can do the same thing. And I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of different ways to do essentially the same thing. So the first thing I want to show you guys is I have this array set up up here, and it's basically just called friends, and it has a bunch of items in it, uh, you know, basically just a list of someone's friends. And I want to show you guys how we can use a for loop to actually loop through all of the items inside of this friends array. Now remember, if I wanted to access a specific item, I could just say friends and then pass an index in. So if I said friends one, this is going to print out Karen onto the screen, right? So that's kind of how I can access an individual element, but I can also use something called a for loop and I can say for friend in friends. And then down here, I also want to end this off. So I'm just going to put end and inside of this little for loop, I can just say puts friend. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to print out all of the friends inside of this friends array. So now when I run this program, you'll see we're printing out all of the values inside of that array. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm saying for and I'm specifying the name of a variable. And on every iteration of this for loop, this friend variable is going to represent a different friend. So on the first iteration, it'll represent Kevin. On the second iteration, it'll represent Karen, etc. And I could actually name this whatever I wanted. So I could just say element and down here, I could print out element and it doesn't actually matter. So it's all going to be the same. So that's a really easy way that you could loop through uh, all the elements in an array. So for each element inside the array, you could basically do something. And really friends could be, this could refer to any collection inside of uh, Ruby. This is basically just a general way to loop through a collection of elements. So this can be really useful. When we're dealing with arrays, there's also another way that we could do essentially this same thing. So instead of having this for loop, I could just say friends dot each and I can say do and then I want to make it two like little vertical bars right here. And I'm just going to pass in the same thing as we did before, like a variable. And this variable is going to represent a specific friend on each iteration of this loop. So then down here again, we can just say end. And over here, I can just print out friend. And so now it's doing the same thing as we did before. We're printing out each one of the friends that was inside of that array. And again, I could, this doesn't have to be friend. This could be anything I want. So that's basically how we could loop through like an array a couple different ways. Um, there's also another thing we could do. We could loop through a range of numbers. So I could specify that I want to go through a loop and go through the code a specific number of times. So I could come down here and I could say like, for index in let's say zero to five and I want to do something so I could just print out the index. This is basically just going to loop through this loop five times. So you'll see over here it prints out actually I guess it looped through six times. So it prints out zero, one, two, three, four, and then five. So it's going to loop through from zero to five. And a lot of times in a lot of cases, you're going to want to go through a loop a specific number of times and you can do it just like that. There's also another thing we could do. We could say like we could specify a number here. So I could say like six and I could say dot times do and inside of these vertical bars, I can just say like index. And again, this doesn't have to be called index. This can be called anything we want. And here it's the same thing. So this is going to loop through something six times. So over here, you were printing out zero through five. So these are all basically different ways that we can loop through other collections or we can loop through something a specific number of times in Ruby. And this can come in handy a lot. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.